So here is the multi knife farm, and uh, I planted a bunch of um, I forget what that's called. It's from uh, Africa. Stuff that I have in my greenhouse growing over winter is all getting out now. I'm putting it all out. Everything from oh, what is that called? Can't think of what that's called. It has a little purple flower on it. Can't remember what it's called, but it's out now too. I put a little some over there. Whoops, put some down here. So um, I've got I've been working on the center bed. You'll notice that this is um, a little thing sticking up there. That is um, horenzo spinach. A little spinach, spinach, a little spinach everywhere. Um, rape. That's rape. Yellow rape coming up. Nice beef flower. Uh, this is spicy radish, uh, Japanese radish, spicy. The leaves are uh, have a bit of a kick, kind of like a wasabi taste to them. So it starts off with uh, cabbage, and then it has like a wasabi kick on the end, which I like. I don't know if you like wasabi, I do. So I'll give you that view there. So that's going to be hopefully teeming. And I'm seeding it with all the stuff that I want. Down here, this is, I pinched out, this is lemon balm right here. Go zoom in on it. It's lemon balm right there. I got lemon balm now coming in, pinched out, put it in there today. And um, I put the, um, these are garlic. You know, I was supposed to put a patch, but you know, I didn't know where to put them and had the space down here, so I stuck them down here. But I do have some lemon balm and other stuff growing up uh, uh, with them. Hopefully, it'll be okay. A little soul lemon balm out there. I love lemon balm. Lemon balm is one of those super beef uh, flowers. So this one I've got seeded with um, red clover and I just have it covered because if I get a torrential rain like I did the other day, look at the look at the swales. Really good. So and the water level in the middle swales all the way to the brink there. So if it goes any higher we'll go into that swale. So and over there you'll see the exit that's where another another uh, um, hegel bed's gonna go, and it's gonna wrap. This one's gonna wrap around like a big circle. This is gonna be a big one. So hopefully, they'll build it. So uh, coming around here, the strawberries are doing really well on this bed. So this is probably gonna become my strawberry bed. They like the shade. Um, you know, the cooler. I don't know. They seem. They, they say they like heat, but you know, these are they're not as uh, dry. The ones I have on these other beds aren't doing so well. But I actually got this mulch down today. Got this whole bed mulched finally. So, um, as you can see, some more of that spinach, not spinach, radish. And I cover the beds only because I don't, again, I don't want downpour. You know, I hope that these will also be a lure for butterflies to lay their eggs on these. I don't care if butterflies eat these up so much. Um, you can see some, something's been eating that. That was really tasty. It's like a cabbage or something. I don't know. It's some. It tastes. It's green and it tastes good. So uh, coming around on this side here. So another bed. I've got stuff going on in here. Planted this stuff here. That's actually um, a little white flower that creeps everywhere. And um, there's um, some mint there. Everything else. So it feels good to finally get plants in. A lot of work. You know, putting up these beds, pretty much just me. I did all these beds here. Here's my cherry with some garlic around it. So garlic's good around fruit trees. So that's where I put some more garlic there. So that looks good. And I got to tame all of that. So I'm going to actually weed whack it down and then throw out more seed. Hopefully get some red clover, clo you know, got ground cover going. So that's it.